Greetings. Uh, this is the intro to my next series, which is about converting um, an HTML layout, basic HTML, CSS, all that stuff that's static to a WordPress theme. A few requests for this um, from a few people that have been watching my other videos. They, I guess, have learned it in such a way that they take their actual static design, go to HTML, and then go to WordPress. Since I've been in WordPress land quite a bit, I tend to go straight to WordPress. I think as a newcomer to development or web development, you kind of start to go that route as you get familiar with the territory and stuff like that. So this video is kind of, I would say, geared towards more of the be beginner vibe, but it's to show you basically how I would approach a free uh, HTML template theme, which I'll be sharing with you guys and translating it to WordPress. So I hope you follow along. It's going to be fun. A quicker course than the other one I've been producing, which is the how to design and code a product landing page. This one won't entail so much design as it's already actually established, but um, you'll see how I take static code and go dynamic. So all along. Thanks. The template we're going to be developing and transitioning to WordPress in this series is called Restaurant. I found this one on a site called OnePageLove.com. It is a free one, so you can download it yourself. Um, I'll also include it in the repo so you can download the source. Um, there'll be links to this stuff in the descriptions as the series goes on. But essentially it's designed by this person and coded by this guy. Uh, we'll be taking it one step further and going from HTML and pushing it to WordPress. So all this stuff will be updatable by a third party or client, whoever just doesn't have, you know, the know-how to update code itself. The theme itself is fully responsive. Obviously it's for a restaurant. So there's going to be a menu, all these items, um, reviews, a, a form to book a reservation. And here's the responsiveness here. Let me show you the HTML. As it stands, there's it's a pretty simple setup, though there is it's running gulp in the background for compiling assets and stuff, which I've shown in some other videos. If you guys want to go check those out. Essentially, we won't mess a ton with the design since it's basically established. If we need to or add icons, stuff like that, uh, we'll kind of tackle that as we go. But my focus will be to take, say, this static content here and actually integrate it into our dynamic admins area so the user doesn't have to come into a file such as this one and edit it directly. Uh, a lot of new users, as I described in the first video, who are a lot of new designers, I should say, like to learn from HTML to WordPress instead of just going straight to WordPress from a design. And that's the point of this whole screencast. So if that's something you want to learn, um, please let me know if this is something you're, you know, interested in by subscribing or liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. Um, so I hope to see you in the future videos and I'm excited to get started.